in Devon and with Derek Gow who's in charge of it. Family of around five beavers, is that right? There's about five beavers in this enclosure, yes. Okay, let's have a look at what they've done over the last okay, five years. So here, explain what we're seeing here. Well, this is this is their, their stick castle or lodge. They make a huge nest. Um, you know, through um, you know, fit with felled timber, which they've they've taken from elsewhere in the forest, and then they combine this with mud and the roots of aquatic plants um, to create a living space for themselves. So, in the middle of that, there will be a chamber lined with mud, and in the chamber, the beavers will be sleeping, all tucked up together, with their paws curled in each other's fur, um, on a bed of, of shredded wood wool. So they take finer sticks, split them lengthwise, and it makes this great big fluffy mattress. So that's where they'll be at the moment. That's their lodge. That's where they're sleeping. Let's have a look how they've partly made it this is this is what that tiny little animal can do well i mean you know you're looking at a rodent that's that's you know it's pretty big it can they can weigh up to 35 kilos so i mean but even that that's a big tree for beavers to bother about and and this what they're doing here we're not quite sure why they're bothering with this tree but typically what you get at the bottom of the tree are all these wood chips um, and these come from every single bite the beavers make and this kind of really distinctive funny almost like kind of ice cream scooped pattern is down to the fact that when they're cutting, they have um, four incisors in the front of their mouth, two in the upper jaw, two in the lower jaw, and um, and to cut to take the chips out of the tree to fell it, they basically.